How are we doing there boys and girls? Matthew's here and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we're going to level up blacksmithing. We're going to get blacksmithing as high as we can through the trainer recipes. Now I should clarify right at the very beginning of this you cannot get to skill 100 in one go with any of the professions in Dragonflight and this is entirely by design. We will be able to get to about skill 50 before we're going to need to head out and do a combination of different things but we will get the early leveling done nice and quickly uh, and I'll showcase exactly how that's done today. I've tested this leveling path a few times on the beta and I've also worked out exactly how many materials we're going to need. So you can utilize this as a little bit of a shopping list if you wish. You're going to need 61 primal flux, 256 cerevite ore and 99 draconium ore. Uh, you may need plus or minus one or two points here or there, but this should be a really good ballpark number for you. I've tested this a few times and this works, ex you know, 100% of the time, every time, uh, as long as everything is followed step by step. Um, all of this information and more is going to be available in my Dragonflight goal making cheat sheet. So if you maybe don't want to be able to, you know, if you're not one for following through a video guide so much, there's the uh, the shopping list that's available and a written path for you to follow. My Dragonflight goal making cheat sheet has a leveling guide for all of the different professions. So regardless to what you're doing in Dragonflight, you can uh, you can get yourself leveled up nice and quickly. Plus, there's loads of other goodies in the cheat sheet. Um, if you happen to be a YouTube member, a Twitch subscriber, or a Patreon of mine, you'll find a link to the cheat sheet in the Discord. Uh, thank you very much for your continued support. But let's move on. So, when we first level up blacksmithing, uh, we can actually pick up blacksmithing from level 58. You don't strictly need to be level 60 even. Uh, although it is sensible to get yourself over to Valdraken, the new capital city, head over to the crafting area and do your leveling there. Uh, simply because you've got all of the vendors there, you've got the tables to where you can do all the crafting as well. But to begin with, we're going to craft ourselves. The first thing we're going to craft is a draconium blacksmith hammer. This is our first introduction to the profession tools and accessories. We're actually going to equip this. We can put our profession tool right there. You get two profession accessories and you get a single profession tool. This is true for any of the professions in Dragonflight. Uh, and these are just going to make you that little bit better at your craft. Uh, offering you some bonus stats, resourcefulness, multicraft, inspiration of a few. And in many cases, you'll see that you actually get plus skill points by having these equipped. So before too long, you'll probably start wanting to min-max these. But there's no requirement to have these for the purpose of leveling. Uh, once we've crafted that, we should be at skill 4 because we're guaranteeing 3 skill points each time. We'll make a set of Explorer's Plate Bracers. This should put us up to skill 7. Let's grab some new recipes from the trainer. And um, we're going to make ourselves the Draconian Pickaxe to hopefully push us to skill 10. There we go. From skill 10, we're going to craft ourselves probably two of these Draconium Sickles. Yep, two Draconium Sickles. These profession tools, if you don't have use for them yourselves, uh, these are all bind on equip items. So you can throw them up on the auction house or send them over to your alts who may have some use for them. That's put us to skill 16. We can learn some new recipes. Uh, from 16 to 19, we're going to make a Draconium Skinning Knife. Let's put us to skill 19. And from 19, we're going to make a Draconium Toolbox, as this is guaranteeing 3 skill as well. This is also going to be something that we're going to want to equip. This is a uh, accessory for us. It's going to give us some bonus stats again. In this, this scenario, we've got resourcefulness and some crafting speed. Every little helps. Every little helps. So at skill 22, we can learn a few new recipes. We're going to make the Draconium Leatherworker's Knife. This is going to guarantee three skill points. Learn up the new recipes again. You can see how remarkably quick this is when you know what you're doing and where you're going. Um, we're going to make two of the Draconium Leatherworker's Tool Sets. These are guaranteeing three skill points each, so should get us up to 32 if everything goes to plan. Learn up all the new recipes. 
My goal for this is to do it in as cheap and as effective fashion as possible. I'm trying to make sure that in the early days of the expansion, when all of the materials are expensive, you're not wasting too much gold leveling up. That's my, that's my main plan. Uh, from here, from skill 32, we're going to make a couple of uh, draconium needle sets. If we craft two of these, 34, that should get us to 36. Explorer's Expert Greaves are next on our list once we learn them from the trainer. This is one of the first pieces of gear that we're actually going to craft. I try to hold off crafting gear for as late as possible because the early entry level gear, if you really want to give yourself a good chance at selling it, you're going to want to be crafting it at the highest quality. If we craft these initially right at the very beginning, we're going to end up with really low quality variations of these, quality 1, quality 2 which uh, you may struggle to sell as everybody's going to be wanting quality three, quality four, maybe even quality five versions of these. Uh, let's grab probably three sets of these, I reckon. We're actually going to make three sets of these. This should give us a handful of skill points is our first one. Obviously, if you have a character that has a use for any of this equipment, by all means, make sure to utilize it. There we go, skill 41. From skill, uh, from here on out, we're going to make some Explorer's Expert Gauntlets. These are guaranteeing us skill points and are much cheaper to craft than things like the weapons. Two of these should get us up to skill 45. We're starting to run out of recipes. You run out of recipes at this sort of point, uh, but not to worry, we can still push a little bit further. Explorers, Expert, Spolders. If we craft three of these, this should put us over the 50, 50 point mark. 45 to 47, to 48 to 49. Oh, <laughs> it randomly pushed us to 50. Okay, sometimes the skill points do some weird and wacky things. Um, not always, I think it's a little bit bugged still. I am recording this very late in the beta. I was hoping that all the bugs would be smoothed out. But yeah, sometimes when it says it will give you two skill points, it gives you three. Sometimes when it says it gives you three, it may even give you four. Uh, I've noticed this a few times on a few, few of them. But from here on out, realistically, all we're going to be doing is crafting a couple of sets of these helms. These are going to give us two skill points. If we craft two of those... We'll get it to skill 55. And this is the point where you may notice that leveling sort of uh, sort of hits a brick wall. This is by design. I mentioned this a little bit at the start of the video, but once you get past or try to push past skill 55, you're gonna have to do a couple of things. The first thing you might look at doing is taking a closer look at your specialization trees. Through this leveling process, you will now have unlocked the ability to play around with two specializations. To unlock the third, you'll need 75 skill points in your profession. And to unlock the fourth one, you'll need a full 100 skill points in your profession. Um, so choose wisely. Some things to note with the specialization trees is there's no undo button. This is why I really try and push the, you know, the, the mindset of spend your points wisely because when you put a point in these spec trees, there's no undo button. Your knowledge points are going to be relatively scarce. You're going to be drip fed these on a week by week basis to make sure that no, any, no single crafter can zoom too far ahead of anybody else keeping the game at least a little bit fair. Uh, so you're going to have to be slightly cautious with these. But through your specialization trees, you will unlock some new recipes, some new patterns. Uh, your alternative is to go out into the open world and to do some rep grinding. There is lots of recipes that are locked behind reputation. If you select the filter and you go to unlearn, you'll be able to see any recipe that you don't possess and whether it gives you skill points or not. And then you can hover over the little recipe unlearned information here and it will tell you how you get that. In this scenario, for example, this comes through your specialization trees. There are some that are gonna be potentially purchasable on the auction house. This is another option to get some recipes from here on out. Uh, but you're going to need to be filling work orders for the most part. 
Uh, any of the end game crafts are bind on pickup. This means that you might certainly look to craft one of these items for yourself, but you're trying your best to supply the rest of your server, the rest of your guild, the rest of your friends list with the items that they need. And the work orders will be your ticket to pushing this from 55 all the way to 100. So you have some choices from here on out. But I hope that helps you boys and girls get leveling up nice and quickly and get you at a point where you can start deciding which path you want to go down. Um, if the video has been helpful, please give the video a like. Consider subscribing if you're new around here. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.